Breaking news in Wrightwood, where crews are battling the sheep fire. They are facing steep, rugged terrain. It's burned nearly a thousand acres with only 5% containment. Mandatory evacuations remain in place between Highway 2 and Mesquite Street and from Highway 138 to Sand Canyon. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live with a look at the threat. Cara. Marcy, we are expecting to get some updated information any minute now from CAL FIRE officials. But just behind us here, you can see one of the mountaintops there with some smoke coming off of it. We have been watching a steady succession of a DC-10 fixed wing aircraft and helicopters all hitting it. This is a rugged area with steep terrain where you need those air resources. Firefighting aircraft are continuing to pound the sheep fire, a welcome site for homeowners like Dina Pollock looking for information. But I haven't had any TV, phone, no access to the outside world at all. We did have some power outages related to some uh, lines being impacted by the fire, and we also are experiencing uh, outage for most of the town of Wrightwood for cell phones. If an evacuation order does go into play, is that we're going to work with our law enforcement partners, and they're going to go door to door to make sure everybody has the information. On Sunday, powerful winds whipped up the wildfire that sparked Saturday above Wrightwood, pushing it into heavy fuels. The fire pushed down this way, down the canyon. Uh, at a rapid rate of spread, and then also we had some spotting problems across Highway 2. This is the destruction we found this morning. Captain Dustin Gill and CAL FIRE's Pilot Rock crews spoke with us as they came off a 24-hour firefight. They helped keep flames from reaching nearby homes and say nighttime water drops were crucial. The helicopter was making drops until they couldn't fly anymore because of how erratic the winds were from the heat rising up through the, the atmosphere last night. It was intense. We thought it was going to come up into our neighborhood here. The Gaglio family is both saddened to have lost the picturesque canyon outside their home and grateful for the work of fire crews. You burn trees. Oh, who you stopped it though? Just saw the helicopter. <laughs> Firefighters are also cautiously optimistic, but remain concerned about the winds expected later today. They say some of the now brittle fuels in these canyons have not burned in more than 100 years. And take a look, that's one of the DC-10s just flying overhead now. There was so much wind yesterday that a lot of these uh, resources couldn't be fully used, particularly the fixed-wing aircraft. They had to be grounded. So a fire crew is telling us that they are really trying to get all of the aircraft they can up early today, try to get a head start on this before the winds kick up. Marcy? All right, Cara, thanks so much.